Hey guys, today I'm going to teach you how to use vinyl with the Cricut Explore Air 2. Vinyl is a very versatile material. It can be used for home signs, cups, cutting boards, basically anything you need to attach a sticker type image to. You can buy vinyl in rolls or in 12 by 12 sheets, and it is available in solid colors or patterned. Let's get started on making our design. I already have my image that I'm printing in Design Space, so all I need to do is size it. To do that, I'm going to click it, drag it to the corner, and size it to be a little over 4 inches by 3 inches. I'm ready to cut it, so I'm going to click the green continue button in the bottom right hand corner. Since this is vinyl, we do not need to mirror it, so we're ready to go. I'm going to click the continue button again and wait for my Cricut to connect. You will want to make sure the dial on your Cricut is set to vinyl. Let's start cutting our materials. I have my vinyl, which has the colored side and then it has the rough white side. What I'm going to do is flip my vinyl so I can see the white side and then mark where I need to cut it. Now, I'm going to take the plastic off my mat and place the vinyl colored side up and then press it down. I'm going to put my mat into the Cricut and to do that I'm going to line the mat under the notches on the side and press the flashing arrow button. Once the Cricut button starts to flash, press it and the machine will start to cut. Once it's done, press the flashing arrow button again to release the mat from the machine. I've taken the vinyl off of the mat and I'm ready to weed it. Next, we need to attach transfer tape. I found that it's a much cheaper alternative to use contact paper instead of actual transfer tape because the roll of contact paper is a lot bigger than the transfer tape roll and less expensive. We need to peel the backing off the tape and stick it to the design with as few bubbles underneath as possible. Then give it a good rub. I found it useful to use the handle of scissors to rub the design so it will attach better to the transfer tape. Peel the transfer tape off. The design should easily come up with the transfer tape. Now we can stick our design onto the surface. First, what you want to do is line the design right where you want it to be stuck. Be very careful because once it's pressed down, it won't come up very easily. Once you have it where you want it, rub it down firmly. I'm going to use my scissors again to make sure it sticks down well. When you feel it has stuck down well, slowly pull up the transfer tape from the corner. If it isn't stuck down all the way, put the transfer tape back down and keep rubbing. You can also help it down with your finger if it won't come off the transfer tape. Vinyl is useful for so many projects, and it's also really pretty. I hope this video helps you learn how to cut vinyl for your own projects, and I encourage you to subscribe and hit the like button. Thanks for watching!